now, now, let me just tell you, I drove my mobile home all the way from Mesquite, Texas. <laughs> this bitch done came to visit me, and she won $100,000, and, and I feel like she should have brought me a housewarming gift, honey. She did make me this cute little frock for this gig, but you guys, please help me welcome to the stage. You know her, you love her, America voted. Bitch, let me tell ya. I don't like many people, but I love this fucking bitch. Now, you know, Alyssa Edwards ain't got no neck, so she can't change a pillowcase, but that is a good queen. Not today, Satan. Come on now. It's a godly day for the uh, pride, baby. We celebrate being gay, straight, bi, trans, color rainbows. I need you to be happy, bitch. I'm happy, you fucking bitch. I'm happy. But when I was a kid, my mother used to tell me, she said, you know what, little boy? You ain't gonna be happy as long as you have a hole in your ass. And it happens, trust me, it's like being Republican. Listen, I, I'm excited to be, especially with this bitch, and we have to let you know that in a few weeks, we're gonna be filming Alyssa's Secret together. And there's gonna be what, tomfoolery? Foolishness against stunt shows, deceits, ridiculousness, reading. Bianca Del read all the hoes in the world. So she's probably gonna read y'all, say in Charlotte, North Carolina, they had Alyssa drive her mobile home. No, I, I, was, I was welcomed at the airport with her modular home. She calls it a modular home, which is a nice way, it's a French way of saying that it's a trailer. But the thing is, she said, it's not a trailer, it has a skirt around it. I said, bitch, if you take tires off a car, it's still a motherfucking car, goddammit. I can't help it, girl. I'm so fancy these days. Okay? You are fancy. This skirt, bitch. Yeah, I know. You hot. And how about my dress, Bianca, made me how fancy is this, well, baby? Let me tell you. You know what it is? This is from the Darien Lake Collection. <laughs> if you're feeling <laughs> of the, that shady fucking elephant, girl. She is shady. She's showing her ass tonight. <laughs> No, but I'll tell you, I enjoy working with this bitch. As I said, we're going to be doing Alyssa Edwards' uh, secret coming up soon. And also, tonight, we're going to be at Scorpio Bar this evening. You get, you get a double dosage. And you know, we started drinking early. <laughs> yes, because what? Tonight, you get Hurricane Bianca and Tornado Alyssa this evening. And you mix it all together, you get the best of both worlds. That's it. That's it. If you like clowns, I'm around. If you like this, okay. That's it. But ah, uh, no. But I gotta say, I'm excited to work with it tonight. We're at Scorpio Lounge following this event. So give Miss Alyssa a big round of applause. I love this whole. I love this crazy woman. You guys give her a hand. Listen, listen. And you know her season. She did not win, but she no. But she's the fucking standout from that season. God damn it. Name a bitch who's working harder than this hoe because she's always working on my nerves. Okay, listen. Get back to your trailer, bitch. And wait a minute, hold on. These two bitches been here. What time are we all here? Two o'clock this afternoon doing this bullshit, right? And how are you? <laughs> she's holding on, which basically means how are you? Well, we'll say hello. Can we say hello? Hello, not, not to me, to the audience, girl. It's all good. Fuck them. Fuck them. Okay, beautiful. Let's move on. That was my Tyler Perry.
Harry moment, see what happened. I, I'm excited to be here in Charlotte. I gotta say this. I know you've had many Drag Race girls come through here, and you got all these bitches that I ain't got no album, I ain't got no video, I ain't got no song. You know what I got? A hundred thousand dollars. That's what I got. Stupid ass bitches, you saw them. <laughs> and now that Alyssa's gone, we can talk about Laganja. Yeah. Girl. Girl. I wanted to kick her in the pussy and run the risk of losing a shoe. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, girl. I. Yeah. It's true though. And I gotta say, the amazing thing is, is that without this drag race show, I wouldn't have this opportunity to travel the world, get to come and hang out with you guys. So for that, I'm eternally grateful. So give RuPaul's Drag Race a big round of applause, because if not, I'm just another clown at the fucking circus, people. That's 